everybody. Uh, this is the story of Northern Comfort uh, refit. I'm up on the hard for the winter and I'm going to go through a number of projects uh, this winter. Uh, we're going to be um, uh, refitting the cabin. Uh, when I went through the, uh, uh, the cabin earlier in the season I noticed that some of the floors had some rot in them. Uh, so I ended up uh, gutting the floors out, or gutting the whole cabin out right to the floors, and I'm doing some repair. And then we're going to put in a new cabin sole, build some new settees, a new cabin, new galley, and uh, actually a new cabin uh, that didn't exist before. So uh, that's some of the projects, uh, as well as we're going to do a uh, electric conversion this winter. So next. Uh, uh, next spring when the boat launches uh, I'm gonna hopefully have an electric motor so th those are kind of the two primary things just uh, redoing the, uh, the interior and uh, going with the electric motor this uh, uh, all th this season while we're on the hard here in the winter season uh, main reason is a couple things you can't drill holes in a boat when it's in the water and uh, to move the galley I needed to move some of the, uh, the through hulls so I want to close up some of the through holes and then, uh, uh, like I said, move the galley and then have to drill some new holes. So uh, take advantage of the fact that it's the winter season. That's what I'm going to be doing. So there's a this series of videos is uh, I'm by no means a pro. Uh, I've got them a little bit handy, uh, but just using some common sense, watching a lot of YouTube videos, doing a lot of reading, talking to a lot of people. And, uh, just trying to do the right thing uh, by making my boat green and getting her ready to uh, to go for a cruise. And uh, appreciate all of your input and comments, and uh, that you would subscribe to uh, to my channel and support uh, support me along the way. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, so finally getting there. Got this uh, thing here to repair. Also. Uh, there's some real rotten pieces on the, on the floor. That's uh, pretty gross. So it's a pretty soft water saturated floor. So I'm going to uh, basically just uh, replace it all after I redo these. But actually the side's not bad actually. It's just the middle here that's sogged out. So, so I just stood on this here to break the uh, just to break it, the glue, and and that's it. So it's just glued on there on the top. So I'm gonna go with the uh, with the uh, these, uh, oscillating tool, the multi tool rid of these edges. I'm just going to try something. Um, basically I used this jigsaw here to take the top off. I uh, just kind of trimmed along. Uh, it's not very accurate but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. And this is my problem. Why it's This one's a little better. But you can see it's wet it's inside. <laughs> Pretty rotten, I'd say. So the idea is um, the other shells are right. Um, pouring high density foam in here, and then uh, re re glassing it on the outside. So basically, what happened was um, down below in there. You can see this leg fell right off, but basically this is all wood. They never fiberglass the bottom, so right the fiberglass ended right there. So when the bilge would fill up with water, um, the bottoms of these boards basically just sat open in the water, which didn't make any sense. So if I push, if I put expanding foam in here. That'll give it some structural integrity and then I'll re-glass it with about three or four layers of glass over top and go in right into the hull here 
Uh, that should give it, I think, enough structural integrity. So, uh, all right, so got them all clean. I'm gonna let them sit here and dry out because they were wet. So, uh, I'm gonna keep the fan on in here. washed so I might as well wash the whole floor and then so the next step will be putting a patch underneath uh, these floors and I'm going to then uh, put in some foam and I'll just do like a little bit of a layer at a time in terms of pouring uh, just so I take my time with it and then once they're all full then I'm going to wrap them in fiberglass so uh, clean patch, foam, fiberglass. As I mentioned, it's been sitting a while, so I'm going to uh, give it a stir. And I'm going to mix all of it together. Uh, the mixing instructions were uh, mixed together for uh, 20 seconds, and then pour. And it'll start it it stands back at 20 degrees, and right now it's uh, probably 20 degrees, it's pretty hot in there actually. I don't need my hat because it's always outside. Alright, so... You can see the chemical reaction, it is expanding, so let's get it right there. Last time. Okay, so today we're going to try this again. Uh, effectively down there, what we want to do is re-pour some of the foam. I mixed way too much last time and it went, I forgot how fast it actually cures. So it went at an insane rate, which I could not keep up with. So we're going to try this again. And uh, first I'll do a mix and I'll record that. And then I would do one of me pouring it. Because I'm going to do one at a time, a very small amount here in a paper cup. Okay, this is not a product placement for anything. This is just what I'm working with. So this is expanding foam, two part. So I'm going to mix part A with part B. 10 seconds this time, with only 100 milliliter instead of 250 milliliters, which was like totally unable to, to work with. first. Uh, this is my 
unscientific method. I know roughly in the 100 mil where the line is. juice uh, so I'm just doing a little check-in so I got the uh, first layer of the fiberglass down and basically I'm just going over and double checking just doing a little tapping down kind of like anywhere I see like a little bit of white which looks like air Basically, I'm just giving that a little bit of a touch to try to make it lay down flat. Overall, it's looking pretty good. So, that is my floors with the foam inside curing and First layer of fiberglass down. Uh, so I'm going to let this set, um, put a edging on all the cracks because it looks like it goes in. So I'm going to use some silica powder mixed in with some epoxy and I'm just going to go and then make sure that it's um, not indented so it's, it's uh, makes like a nice rounded corner and then I'll have a nice slope kind of like along the edges. So just to show you up close. Oops. Set on that can there. So you can kind of see how it goes in a little bit here in the corner here. It's not, it's hard to tell in the camera, but it actually goes indented and then in. So I'm just going to fill that kind of hole in uh, with uh, what silica and uh, epoxy. So that way it's a much more solid, almost like a putty. And what it should look like is maybe right there on that edge. And you can see it doesn't right beside it. So there's like parts where it's not quite good. Um, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Hello. Getting ready for second round. I've cut out all of the uh, fiberglass. Um, over in the back there, the mast step, uh, the keel step. Um, I just want to glass in the, uh, the tops. Uh, they were... They had cracked, uh, I guess, or they didn't, they, well, they weren't cracked actually, but they, they just didn't cover them properly. They just used glue instead of, um, under the, under the floor, instead of, uh, actually, uh, attaching the, uh, the mast step to the hull. I'm not too sure why. So they, they did it, they did on the side, but on the top they didn't. So they just sort of put that on there. So I'm just going to give it a, a one cover over. And then this is the, uh, the second layer, uh, going on. 
So I mixed um, 250 mil of epoxy with uh, uh, 5 mil of hardener, MAKP hardener, hardener. And I use just one of these little white spoons to get 5 mil. Alright, so now if you noticed I put down the plastic. So what I'm doing is I'm going to come over here and do one of these at a time. And I'm going to wet them up right here. an update. <clears throat> I've got it uh, glassed down here with a couple of layers uh, plus the original forming layers. I put new uh, core inside nice and hard and it's a huge difference. Okay, you guys. This used to be almost hollow sounding. So it gets way stiffer now. So uh, I've got one more thing to do. I still wanted to just fill in the edges. I just don't like that. So uh, I'm going to uh, get some uh, silica powder mixed in with some epoxy. And I'm just going to go through all the grooves and make sure that it's laid down nicely. And then I'm going to start to measure to put the floor on. So that's the next project. Until the next video, signing off on refitting the floors, cabin floors. This is a huge improvement. Wow. Just in terms of sturdiness, they don't move at all. Thumbs up. It's kind of oily. But now, more importantly, my stuffing box and shaft now is actually separated from the engine. So 